What causes epilepsy? If someone has epilepsy, it means there's a problem in the brain causing recurrent seizures. There are many types of epilepsy that can involve seizures as well as other symptoms. Epilepsy has many causes. The type of seizures someone has is largely determined by the underlying cause of their epilepsy. These causes include damage to the brain, such as from a serious head injury, or infections such as meningitis. Conditions which affect the brain such as inflammatory or metabolic disorders can also cause epilepsy. Many types of epilepsy that start in childhood are caused by variations in certain genes. Genes contain DNA, the instructions for how our bodies are made and work, including our brains. Small changes in many different genes can cause epilepsy, and these are called the genetic epilepsies. They include some very mild epilepsies, as well as some of the more severe epilepsies, which are more difficult to manage. Does epilepsy run in families? For particular types of epilepsy, there can be an increased chance of seizures in close relatives such as siblings or children. This is because genetic factors, which can be shared by family members, can cause many types of epilepsy. However, not all variations in our genes are inherited from our parents. Sometimes a child has new changes in their genes that their parents don't have. If this is the case, it's unlikely that their brothers or sisters will have the same changes and therefore will not be at greater risk of developing epilepsy. We're now pretty good at detecting genetic changes that can cause epilepsy but there is still much that we don't know about genetic factors. If you have an epilepsy that is likely to be genetic, you will usually be referred to a clinical geneticist to discuss the likelihood of other family members developing epilepsy and the types of genetic testing that may be available. How are children and young people diagnosed with epilepsy? The first time a young person has a seizure they will usually be taken to hospital for assessment. This is particularly important if they have a convulsion where the whole body is affected by jerking movements and they lose consciousness. Some types of seizures are more subtle and difficult to recognise. So the child may need to be seen by a doctor because of unusual movements or behaviours. If it's thought they may have epilepsy, the young person should be referred to a paediatrician or a child neurologist. The doctor will ask the young person and those looking after them detailed questions about any unusual symptoms or episodes. Videos taken when the young person may be having a seizure are extremely helpful. Details of any other medical problems and any relative with epilepsy are also important. The doctor may arrange medical tests, for example, to monitor electrical activity or to produce images of the brain. The diagnosis of epilepsy is based on an assessment of all the information available. What is an EEG? EEG is short for electroencephalogram. This is a test that measures electrical activity in the brain. This brainwave activity can be important to help make a diagnosis of epilepsy. An EEG can be used for children of all ages. It's safe and doesn't cause any pain. Small discs are placed on the child's head using a soft paste, and the discs are connected by wires to a recording machine. Brainwave activity appears on a screen as wiggly lines. We usually take video during the EEG so that any changes in movement or behavior can be associated with changes on the EEG recording. How is epilepsy treated? Epilepsy is usually treated with medicine and there are many anti-seizure drugs. Doctors will discuss which treatments are appropriate for the type of epilepsy and what side effects may occur. The dose of medicine is often adjusted over time or different medicines are used until seizures are controlled. Some epilepsies improve over time and it may be possible to come off medication if seizures stop for several years but this must always be done slowly and with the guidance of a doctor. But many people with epilepsy do need to take medication for their whole lives. Is there surgery to treat epilepsy? 
Surgery can be a treatment option when epilepsy is caused by a problem in a specific area of the brain, such as a part of the brain that has developed with some abnormal cells or an injury from a stroke. A large team of health professionals will assess the young person to decide if surgery is possible. These include neurologists, neurosurgeons, psychologists and psychiatrists. Can changing diet treat epilepsy? A healthy diet is important for any young person with epilepsy. However, avoiding specific foods or adding supplements in a young person's diet is unlikely to have any significant impact on their epilepsy. When medication isn't helping, a special diet called the ketogenic diet can help control seizures. This diet is very high in fat, low in carbohydrate, and contains enough protein to maintain growth. A group of healthcare professionals, including dietitians and nurse specialists, will help to decide if this treatment could help a young person and will closely monitor them throughout the time they are on the diet. Can treatments using electricity help? A medical device that produces pulses of electricity called the vagal nerve stimulator can reduce seizures and make them less severe. It can't be used for everyone with epilepsy and it's usually only considered if several medications have not been helpful and epilepsy surgery is not an option. A small operation is done to put the device under the skin of the chest and by passing electrical pulses to the vagus nerve in the neck, it can help regulate electrical activity in the brain. 